So hello everyone, thank you for joining today's workshop. So this is the pre-event um, workshop from City Hack 2022. And thank you Dr. A for um, hosting this amazing workshop for Swift Playground Sport. It's, uh, it's my pleasure. So hey, uh, my daughter is uh, here. She's uh, supporting as well. Okay, so I guess uh, we are ready to go. Um, I think uh, the first thing I would like to do is, uh, uh, Yvonne, you can help me to uh, admit the people, okay? So Tony, if you would like to say a few words, do let me know, or otherwise I will get started, okay? So um, I actually prepared um, a number of uh, websites to all of you. So I think the first thing is I would like you all to know this uh, website, okay? It's called Apple and then Swift Playground. Um, basically, these tools is uh, for us to program, okay, and develop interesting uh, uh, apps, okay. So, how many of you have actually uh, written Swift code before? If you have uh, uh, written some Swift code before, you can type yes in the chat room so that we we can know how many of you have some uh, previous experience, okay. No, is totally fine, okay. So please install this, and uh, if you have uh, the MacBook or iPad today, so you can work with us together, okay? Number one, okay? So second thing I would like to share today is I would like to give credit to uh, colleagues, okay? So number one, I think uh, most of you know, uh, on Monday, you have uh, learned the Amazon SageMaker. And this is uh, basically a machine learning platform that you are going to uh, develop uh, interesting applications in the area of machine learning. So SageMaker, you know it, so I will close it. But I want you guys to know the link between all these free workshops. And then on Monday, I think you also learn the Huawei Cloud and you're going to develop our applications. So now come to the front, uh, front end. So front end is uh, the application that people can see your uh, idea. So that's why today we are introducing uh, the Swift Playground to you. You've got the cloud, you've got the AI. Now you come to this uh, uh, UX. And this UX you are going to learn is uh, this uh, Swift Playground. Within one hour, we could show you how easy it is uh, to develop an uh, interesting uh, projects. So uh, I will, I'm going to come into the details, okay? So let me show you uh, the first thing. Now I'm going to stop sharing here, okay? Now I assume that uh, most of you already, uh, uh, yes, so now I'm going to share screen from my other uh, iPad. In the meantime, please uh, turn on your Swift Playground, okay? So now if you are able to turn on your Swift Playground, this is what you're going to see, okay? So once you turn on your Swift Playground, uh, please uh, follow me if you are able to turn on your Swift Playground, you can type one, okay? So this is what you are expecting to see if you turn on your Swift Playground. Hmm? Okay, good. So now I assume that most of you do not have uh, any uh, previous experience with uh, Swift Playground. So Racy will be my assistant today. So now the objective uh, for you to learn how to develop an app is uh, how to use this uh, platform. So now uh, you can see uh, in the middle, we have uh, this uh, city hack uh, testing. And then we also have uh, many different uh, projects. So today what we are going to uh, share with you is uh, three things. Okay, number one is uh, you see a lot of monsters. And these uh, monsters is actually your first step. If you want to learn uh, uh, Swift from uh, scratch, this is what you're going to do. You are going to go through this uh, learn to code one, and uh, learn to cook too. We assume that you have zero item here. And how do you get this uh, item from the bottom part? This is uh, the bottom part. You will see this uh, bottom part. And uh, what you should do is that uh, you should click the C all on the right hand side. So once you click the C all, you will find this uh, Swift Playground. You will be able to um, add this uh, component developed by Apple and then you and then you can add together into your playground. So let me ask Racy to add, uh, let's say I want to add um, date planner. So this is uh, what you're going to see. Let me see if I can uh, 
because the first thing is uh, you need to get familiar with uh, this uh, sheet paper. So let's see, she's adding the base planner. Now, once you click it, you will see uh, this is uh, what we are getting. The date planner, you will see it's already inside. Now, if you want to open this uh, date planner, you will see uh, we can write the code and uh, a lot of information, right? Um, so you will find out this is uh, basically the interface. So for some student today, if you're using a, uh, uh, like a MacBook and the Swift playground that you open will be a little bit different from the one we are using here. So let me come back to, to show you what is uh, the different part. I, I, I'm going to show you uh, one more time. At the bottom left, okay? So at the bottom left, you will find uh, the first icon is an app. And the second one is uh, called the uh, playground. That's right. If you are using a uh, MacBook, you you I, I expect that you don't see the app because uh, this uh, Swift Playground is actually a new feature. They just uh, released uh, one month ago in December. So you will see the app, you see the playground, you can see a lot of items. So tonight, the lesson, since we only have one hour, we also have a company, uh, Green Tomato, they will come and share. And we also have CTU, iOS Club, they will come and share. So that means we only have about 40 to 45 minutes to go through our lesson. So what we try to show you very easy is a uh, hello world. We show you how you can uh, use uh, this Swift playground to learn how to write Swift code. And at the end, I'm going to show you an interesting uh, uh, dictation uh, test to speech uh, mobile app that you can develop within one hour. So this is uh, the layout for tonight. Is that clear for everyone? So now, the first thing I would like you to learn tonight is uh, Swift Playground may be new to you, but again, it is very powerful. So now I would like to show you the first step, which is uh, we are going to say, Racy is uh, very smart. I want you to add the hello byte, hello byte. So in order to add the hello byte, you need to find the hello byte. Uh, yes, th this is uh, the, 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 the one. Hello. Uh, get started with uh, code so you can click yes. it. And then you will find, find out this is uh, the get started with code. So let's say if you already installed it, you can open it. And then you'll be able to uh, go through uh, from the top to the bottom. So each one of these uh, green tech is a uh, one challenge, okay? Since uh, most of us is a uh, university student, so we assume that you should be pretty easy to move. So now I just turn on the music. So you can turn on your uh, music sound and to make this uh, game even more fun. Um, so basically you are going to go through this uh, challenge uh, one by one. And uh, the way you go through each challenge, you are learning how to code with, in this uh, gaming environment. So in this case, uh, what, uh, what you need to do is, uh, let's say uh, we are removing, let me ask Racy to remove all these uh, four lines of code. If you, you don't have any like a Swift coding background, this is where you are going to start. Okay, this is uh, for K-12 students, for university students. So now if I ask Racy, how do you complete this challenge? I want to go and collect the gem. Yes. So how do you collect the gems? I will move forward for three times and then I will collect the gem. Exactly. So please uh, type the code. And in particular, you should see the code is actually available at the bottom. So you just need to use, uh, press it. Yeah, yeah, you can press using your finger and then you can press. So let's say you press move forward and move forward and move forward and then collect gem. So now you will be able to see you just move forward three times and then you can collect the gems. Okay, so now you are going to complete this. Perfect, yeah, I, I'm going, to go through three major steps today. Number one is uh, get familiar with uh, this uh, uh, like a monster colon environment. We're going to spend 10 minutes for this. Okay, we are going to finish this part soon. Next, we are going to go through the Hello World program together. And finally, the last part is uh, the dictation test to speech mobile app that we are going to develop today. So now Racy is going to run the code. In order to run the code, you are going to run this, uh, run my code, and then you can see it. So I would like you all to try this uh, exercise together. 
So now she's uh, running the code and you are going to see the monster is actually walking. And then this monster uh, this, uh, is going to collect the gem. If you are able to follow us and if you are also doing this together, if you succeeded, you can type two and do less no. Ah, okay, sounds good. We do have a few uh, member also for us. So this is again where you are going to get started. Uh, now I'm going back to share my screen and then come back here. Now, this is uh, what we are seeing from Apple. If you want to know more, please uh, go online. There's a channel called the uh, Out of Cook channel. This is uh, where you are going to go through uh, uh, basically uh, over the past uh, year, Rishi and I, we actually for Sunday morning, we go online and there's a channel called the Shift Playground. You can Introducing see- Introducing Remarkable 2, the paper tablet, a revolution. And then you are able to see uh, a lot of video and I just show you some uh, exciting part. This is uh, what you are going to see uh, at, the, at the far end of this uh, uh, playground. You are going to write around 100 lines of code and you are playing with the monster and you learn a lot of variable. This is where for newbies, you can get started. Again, this Swift playground is so powerful. I highly recommend to all of you. Okay, if that is clear, any questions? Now we spend about 15 minutes to go through the first part. Any questions so far? If not, I'm going to go through something getting more and more exciting to all of you. Now, I would like to show you a, uh, a document which comes to you from uh, Apple. And this document is available online and you can see from the chat room. If you see this document, you'll find out Apple actually has a lot of uh, uh, document. You can get a ball and then you can read all this together. And from this ball, you'll find students like my daughter, she's a primary school student. She can learn with this uh, monster. And for high school students, they are going to write Swift code. And the environment is usually, we call it the Xcode. But because of the recent development of uh, the Swift playground, we now be able to use a Swift Playground to develop mobile app. So this is what we are seeing in the high school sector. So very fortunately, uh, in the past uh, several months, with the support from uh, Apple, and, uh, and we do get students in CTU, we form the iOS club. So they are going to give the sharing tonight. So now I'm going to basically just go through this uh, document quickly, and then you'll find out there are a lot of uh, information and you need to spend time. How do you learn OO? How do you do the uh, event handling? How do you do the array? And again, this is something similar to a uh, like a university free credit courses. I recommend this to all of you. Now we are going to the second part, okay? So I'm going to stop stream here. Now I'm going to uh, continue my sharing screen on my iPad. I hope you can all follow me and find this uh, lesson uh, interesting. Okay, come back to this. Now, I assume that uh, most of you are using uh, the Swift Playground uh, on an iPad. In case if you are using uh, the MacBook, don't worry, you can uh, wait until uh, Apple release the new version for the Swift Playground, which include with the app. Now, the second part we're going to do is uh, the Hello World. Now may I ask Racy to click the app button on the bottom left, app button, app button, yes. So now if you add the button, you'll find this is uh, the icon. So where is it? Uh, once you add it, it's uh, somewhere we need to find it. Actually it's here. You see, this is uh, my app copy. Obviously we can rename it. So today we can say, uh, this one is called the uh, City Tech 2022 Hello World, okay? So let's say this is our project for today, okay? So we are going to find out our project. So where is it? There are so many projects. I cannot find it. Okay. 
Ah, yes, here, here we are. So now, so <laughs> yeah, so many projects. So now if you open it, you will find out at the top, there's a button here. Yes, but there are many uh, alternate button for it. Um, yeah, because uh, the reason why we have a difficult time to find it is because this Swift Playground is just like uh, your uh, library. And then you have uh, so many different because uh, Playground book. And then you can see there are so many different uh, uh, like a learning component or the app that you develop. So now we just uh, open up uh, one item. So we say this is a city hello world. And then you open it. Since we are now doing a hello world program for all of you, we want you to get familiar with uh, the uh, environment. The whole idea behind is uh, we want you to be able to develop a uh, mobile app just using the uh, iPad or the MacBook and learning environment. Since you already go through the uh, like a 22 hour with all these uh, Swift coding lessons, so we want you to get familiar with the interface. Number one, if you click the top left button, you will find out the app setting. So this is uh, where at the top you find out. And, uh, and then you'll find this uh, my app and also the content view. Uh, this is uh, going to be the setup. So you can imagine the my app is uh, the, the, you can imagine this is the frame, the outmost the top layer of your applications. And then the content view, this is uh, the code that you put uh, your inner frame. So this is uh, the frame that you're going to put your, uh, let's say your text, your button, everything. Okay, so this is uh, now we are going to read this uh, code together. So if you read the code, which is uh, the, uh, the my app, you'll find out uh, we are going to import, okay, the uh, library, which is called the Swift UI. And then the most important nice of code is this one. So I highlight this for you. It called the content view. And obviously if you see this uh, content view, this is actually referring to this one. So that's why if you write the code inside the content view, everything inside this component will be displayed on the right-hand side of your mobile app. So that's why if you click, uh, let me see if I can, uh, uh, yes, Ray is trying to do it. So we are able to show you the right-hand side, which is your app preview. So now if you are changing anything, let's say I'm going to change this uh, Hello World to, let's say I ask Racy to change the code to become, uh, let's say City Head 2022. And then you will see the result, okay, because Basically, the right-hand side is just an emulator of your mobile app. So you will find out the right-hand side will be exactly what we are seeing uh, from your final outcome. So imagine you join the CTI, you're going to have a prototype. And with this kind of environment, you'll be able to create. And obviously, there are so many uh, syntax that you need to learn. For example, what's the meaning of uh, V-step? V-step referring to your vertical step. Okay, so that means this is a vertical component. You are going to place uh, uh, from the top to the bottom and then you can place one by one. So in this case, what you're putting is an image and then you are putting in a uh, uh, text. Why is that? Because uh, you are seeing the image is a, a globe. If you change this uh, globe to something else, for example, there's some other system, let's say, uh, let's say a change of what, what you can put. For example, uh, let's say we put a star. In fact, why do you why do you, you don't see anything? Because star it doesn't refer to a pre a predefined item in Apple. So that's why there's so many uh, items. For example, uh, uh, sun. sun. Okay. Uh, in this case, no, yeah. no. Star. Star. Okay. Yes. So you see. So basically, these are all the symbol that comes with uh, the Apple. And again, you can create very interesting. And then if you want to, let's say I want to edit. So I want to copy and paste. You can follow me, you can do it. So if I now put one more and uh, you now see uh, at the bottom, we also have another star. Okay, or you can put this one, I don't want, I want to make it a uh, different size. I want to make it different uh, uh, positions. Or let's say you want to have a vertical component and for this vertical component, you have a multiple horizontal component. If that's the case, you're going to use a H stack and then you're able to put multiple component. And obviously you want to think about what I'm going to add. For example, if you want to add more, 
at the middle, you see a cross sign. If you press it, you are now going to say, uh, okay, I want to add a button. Okay, I want to add a form. I want to add a label, or I want to add a hyperlink. So everything is already predefined to you. So let's say I want to add, let's say a slider. Okay, I want to add, a, okay, a slider. And for this uh, slider, I want to add a variable. Let's say I want to add a certain value and you'll be able to, you'll be able to slide it, okay? So basically everything that you are going to add, you can actually come with uh, the predefined library from, uh, uh, from Apple. Again, which is uh, quite powerful, you can, uh, uh, you will see this is uh, the uh, uh, component. You can also add uh, some other control element. For example, you want to have a push button. You want to have uh, some area that is response to a user uh, and, or you want to add something more powerful. You want to add some further communication. You want to send an email uh, when people are clicking this button or you want to have uh, some kind of a different color that is uh, predefined to all of you. This is where you are going to get started. Again, to, tonight we only have one hour and we have so many information that we want to present to you. But we want you to see how powerful this is, um, uh, the Swift Playground 4, okay? And, uh, and I, I'm going to uh, basically show you this and you may want to ask, okay, so now if I complete this uh, app, what, what can I do next? Okay, so what can you do next? So if you complete this app, Okay. You want to publish, right? So basically you can open this, you can create this uh, whole app and then you can make it uh, uh, more fun. Again, this is just a hello world and uh, you can show your code. And more importantly, you can come back to your app setting. And inside your app setting, you can actually change your app and then you can choose uh, import from a file, import from a photo. So let's say I want to import from a photo. So I want to show, let's say this is uh, the app with my boy and my daughter. And then you can create an app with, uh, with your, your face or even your, uh, your portrait team logo and then you can create. And then you can also go down, you can go and say you want to upload this to an app store and that's it, okay? Everything just come with an iPad and you can see everything is just one click and you can uh, actually do it. Uh, of course, if you don't want to put your face, you can choose this and you can choose a happy dog or you can choose a happy carrot. And again, these are all pretty flexible. Okay, we, we want to show you this is uh, available for you. So with that, I'm going to uh, end this part and we're going to uh, slowly going to our third part. Again, very exciting tonight. We have about 40 people. Um, yeah, we see some questions. Yes, okay. So student asks, uh, why do we not see the app features on uh, the uh, like a map book. So uh, I'm going to show you this, uh, um, like a Swift playground, which is uh, on my um, Mac. Mac. Okay, so let me show you, this is what I expect you to see. So this is exactly what you see. This is uh, my uh, iMac and you see at the bottom, uh, you only find out the button uh, for playground, but you don't get the app. Again, we just mentioned to you, uh, the app features come with uh, the iPad version for the Swift, uh, uh, Swift Code 5.5. This is a new version. But if you try to play with this uh, Swift Playground, you, you see you can play with the one monsters or you can play with uh, something more advanced, okay? In fact, there are actually some more advanced, for example, you can, you can do uh, AR, you can do uh, sensor, a Kate, and uh, some, uh, I would say this is a, a, a long journey. Okay, you don't expect you learn uh, Swift code in, within one night, but I guess this is some, something you can, let's say you are uh, from different major, maybe there's a student from CS, he already know how to code in Python or C. Uh, it may be pretty easy for him to pick up uh, the Swift code uh, within a week. And I think uh, today is uh, Wednesday, you still have a few days, you can get familiar with the code and I think this is where you can get started, okay? So with that, uh, uh, thank you, Lao Sir. Okay, I'm excited. So tonight I'm going to uh, repeat your lesson. Actually, this is uh, something I want to, to show. So I want to show you um, a guy. He is uh, called the uh, Yuma. He's uh, the a Australian guy. I, I know him uh, personally. So he actually uh, announced this uh, Video, which 做生意最危險係乜嘢？
，就係將 marketing 咁重要嘅位置。So Yuma, he just uh, published this uh, video, and I think it's uh, quite powerful. Uh, I need to share some, uh, so make sure you can all listen. So you can actually follow his uh, video. Uh, you can go online, and then you will find out uh, he actually write the code and uh, show us how easy. Uh, I think uh, this is where he is uh, showing with us. The title will say, Hello Duck. Otherwise, if this has something else in it, it will just say, hello, human. We will so this is a uh, program that is uh, checking the, uh, um, uh, the text inside the input uh, message. Whenever the input message has a duck word, this, uh, this text will respond uh, with, uh, with a, uh, uh, sorry, with a, with a crack, it will respond with a duck. If there's no crack, it will respond with a human. So this is uh, the example code that we are seeing in this example. So I would like to let you guys know, number one, Swift Playground is uh, for newbies. Second, uh, if you can uh, get familiar with uh, this uh, Hello World program, you know how easy it is uh, to add different component in your uh, uh, mobile app. I guess this is uh, the second point. Now we are going to do the uh, third point. Um, before we move forward to our third uh, component for the lesson tonight, I would like to see if uh, you all have any questions before we move on. Let me uh, check the message. Okay, um, if not, then I think we are able to move forward. Once again, tonight is a very exciting, lots of people with a colleague from Apple with uh, Edward Lauser. So now I'm going to repeat uh, Lauser's lesson but we are trying to do this in English. So previously, Lao Se actually uh, delivered a lesson. Uh, let me go back. Yes, this is the lesson. So we just uh, conducted this lesson, I think uh, two weeks ago, okay? So basically in this lesson, we actually introduced a dictation app. So in this uh, dictation app now, I'm asking you all to download uh, a link. So please go online and you find out this uh, link called the gg.gg dictation app. Let me uh, put this uh, link. I think the screen is stops. We can't see the video. Ah, thank you for reminding me. Okay, yes. Okay, let me uh, show you again. So, uh, sorry, I think I forgot to change screen. So this is uh, the event. We have a meetup page with a lot of uh, our code event. And uh, two weeks ago, uh, 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 Eric Lauser, he actually de delivered a lesson for the Swift Playground 4. And in this lesson, we actually introduced something really exciting, which is a dictation app. And tonight we are going to get the uh, key component from uh, what Lauser delivered. So the first thing, please, uh, yes, please uh, go to this uh, link and then you can download the whole package. So I want you guys to go to gg.gg dictation uh, app. Again, the credit go to uh, Lao Sir. Okay, so please uh, find out more information from this uh, makeup page. You'll find a lot of exciting uh, uh, coding events, okay, in this link. Yes, gg. Oh. Okay, so I guess uh, this is it, okay. So if you go to gg.gg, you should be able to find out this uh, iCloud drive link. So once you get to this page, you will find out uh, this uh, package. And we will let you guys uh, to download, okay, a project. This is a Swift uh, PM. So that means if you are developing your Swift uh, project, you can export your uh, program and you can generate a file like this called the Swift PM. And please put this file, you can import or you can uh, uh, send this file using your mobile phone and send to your iPad. And then you can open this file with your iPad. So I give you guys a few minutes before we move forward. By the way, I would like to check if uh, Sergan and uh, Danny and also uh, Austin, are you guys here? Since uh, they are the, uh, hi Danny. So since uh, they are the CTU, RS Club um, core member. So thank you guys for joining and supporting. So 
later on after my sharing we are going to invite you guys to give the sharing uh, introduce your club so please download this file and uh, send this file and open in your ipad now i'm going to ask Racy to show us uh, the screen <coughs> okay so now we are going to share screen so you guys, uh, you see very busy. We need to use a uh, map, uh, IMAP and also, yes. Uh, let me see. So which one is uh, the project? I think it is uh, dictation starting. Yes, very good. So now if a student, if you are able to open uh, this uh, project, you can type free and let me let us know that you are already opening this uh, project. This uh, serve as a template for all of you. So that means if you are going to uh, develop your city hack uh, prototype over the coming weekend, uh, that this one, this program could maybe serve as a starting point for all of you, okay? So now I can see no one has uh, type three. So that means uh, we need to wait a bit, okay? In the meantime, I know some of you are Having a uh, Maple or iMac, you don't have this uh, uh, feature, but don't worry, since uh, the lesson tonight is all recorded, you can always uh, uh, use your iPad and install the latest version of, uh, you need to install the uh, Pad OS, the new version, and then you are going to install the new version of the uh, Swift Playground so that you can have these features. So let's wait a bit and see if uh, there's any student who are able to uh, install it and open this project. So uh, let me show one more time. This is uh, going to be the project called the dictation starting. But there should be no. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, we, we can write the code. We can write the code. But there shouldn't be something like this. Of course, we are able to write the code together. But there shouldn't be something like this. Let's wait, let's wait. We still have uh, 10 more minutes before we move forward to, uh, do we have a colleagues from uh, Green Tomato arriving tonight? Green Tomato? Yeah, maybe not here yet. Are you guys uh, opening your uh, uh, iPad for this project? Anyone trying to install this uh, program in your iPad now? Anyway, in the meantime, I would like to uh, keep our chat room a bit busy. So please, uh, for students, please uh, type in your chat room that uh, your major and your year in the chat room so that we could know a little bit more about your background. Oh, hello, Sergan, you're here. I guess- oh, yeah, uh, hello. Yeah, hello, Sergan, thank you, yeah. Um, I guess uh, this is actually the time that maybe students are working really hard to uh, install this uh, program in their iPad we can uh, invite, uh, maybe, I think uh, Sergan can uh, just say a few words, okay? And uh, Sergan, are you ready to introduce our iOS club of CTU uh, with your team member? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sure, of course. Okay. So if uh, that is the case, I'm going to stop sharing screen and then you can introduce who you are and what is uh, this uh, iOS club and why this is important for, for CTU and for university students, thank you. Oh, thank you, Dr. Ray. Sure. So, um, yes, hello, everyone. So I am Sergin, and I have been, so also right now, I um, am the president of the iOS club, which we are actually just introducing right now in CDU. And also, I have had the honor to become a WWDC scholar in 2018 and 2019. So um, I I actually went to Apple's conference uh, through a scholarship that was awarded by Apple. And yeah, uh, for that, I, I actually had to make an app with Swift, literally the one that you're learning right now. So yes, the iOS club, um, as you can imagine, is actually about all about learning Swift and introducing ourselves to the world of app design and app development. And I believe it is a really important skill and actually enables you to create a lot of things. So basically whatever you want. So in, in other words, it's kind of like a superpower, I could say. So 
if you join us together in our journey um, to create more apps, then also you can introduce maybe some new superpowers to the world. Yep. Excellent. Thank you, Soiga. So now I'm going to remove the spotlight. And uh, I'm going oh, thank to- Thank you, Dr. Ray. Yeah, really appreciate for your sharing. And uh, that is a uh, pretty cool. So for students who do not know what is a Data DC uh, Scholar, so this is uh, basically a, a global uh, honor. And uh, Apple, they globally pick 350 uh, students, uh, university sector, all the way to uh, 10, 10 years old. And uh, they are picking uh, uh, global talent. So let's say this is uh, uh, Alexandra Sandra. So she's uh, from Brazil. And she, she developed this uh, interesting app and she got the ticket, uh, a computer engineering student, she got the ticket to go to uh, um, Silicon Valley and, and meet with uh, Tim Crow. And again, uh, if you choose, uh, let's say this is uh, Diana, she's from Indonesia and uh, she's an uh, informed IM student. Uh, she's uh, she in love with a uh, Swift and UX. And we believe uh, this is exactly, uh, uh, you don't need uh, like a very, uh, uh, sophisticated programming skills, but the idea is more important. So we are trying to groom and develop this kind of community. And we believe uh, after your CTI event, this is where you can uh, move along your journey and you find out how e easy it is uh, to do your uh, program. I, I'm going back to the app, okay? So basically, ah, very busy. Huh? So we are, luckily I have a system with us tonight. Stop. Yes. Okay, so we assume that most of you are able to uh, develop uh, your, uh, uh, open your file here. Okay, so now come back to our previous uh, Hello World program. So this is where you're doing. Number one, you see this is uh, the uh, SS. So we are having a photo. So that means you are able to uh, add some photo of your applications. And this is uh, let's say this is uh, just an out of code. And again, you see this is uh, my app. So in this case, uh, we are actually changing this uh, to uh, uh, dictation yeah. one. Okay, so let's say dictation one. So if you change to dictation one, if uh, now I run the program, so you will be able to run it. Okay, so let's see, let's say I run it. Mm. So just wait, you are seeing the uh, program. We are now going to run our first version. This is uh, basically emulating the first program and we are seeing how to do the dictation. Uh, it's a little bit slow. So let's say, okay, speak. Hello app. Uh, hello app, okay, so you see this is a. Uh... Hello app. So now you may wonder how do you, how, how this program actually develop a hello app? So now I go back to the project. Okay, so you may want to know for this uh, free program that is developed by uh, Edward Lau, Lau Sir. So you go to number one, the dictation one. So now we are going to read the code together. Okay, for newbies, number one, you, you notice this is uh, using a Swift UI. And secondly, this is uh, the library that you need to use. This is called the AV Foundations because you're going to do some speech uh, uh, operations if you are doing uh, some database, you, you need to use SQL. code. If you're using some AI, how do you integrate this uh, with uh, the backend, right? So this is uh, what we are seeing. And uh, you find out um, in this uh, dictation one and uh, inside there's a body and then you, you find out, okay, I'm putting the dictation one and then you are going to say, this is uh, your speech. Okay, so you are going to uh, have a string this is a hello, okay, so you are saying hello. Okay, so you can actually modify, okay, you are able to modify the text and you can adjust uh, the speed, you can adjust the pitch, you can adjust the volume, you can actually uh, put together, you can say it, okay, so you can say, I want to say, uh, let's say, speak uh, for uh, City Hack 2020. Okay, so you are able to write- 2022. 2022, that's right. Yeah, race is correct. So basically you are able to modify your code. And uh, since we already talked about the button, so if you click the button, 
you will find now the open bracket and the closed bracket. And this uh, whole area belongs to your object, which is a button object. And you'll be able to put your code together. And uh, there'll be some other syntax that you're going to learn. Again, you can come back to the, uh, uh, the monster part and you're going to get familiar with the code. This is uh, number one. And obviously you can change uh, the language. You can change to some other language. So let's say this is uh, number one, okay? So if a student, you are able to understand what we are trying to present to all of you and you can, uh, you can do it, can you type four? So we want to make sure you all are following us before we move forward to the dictation two and dictation three for tonight. <coughs> I hope that this is uh, not too uh, difficult. Uh, thank you, Elias. So now I'm going to ask Racy. So please uh, now go to the uh, my app and we're going to change, okay? I want to change uh, the code from dictation one to dictation two. That means you are changing your object, okay? This uh, Windows group, and you're now pointing, okay, the code to dictation two. And obviously for each uh, variable or function or object, you know, there's a, there's a scope, okay? You know, there's a, we call it the namespace. You want to know where you're going to point into this object in this case. So now, uh, race is uh, too fast. So I think uh, we should be reading the code together. So the first thing we are going to read the code is again, we know there's a Swift UI, there's a AV um, foundation, uh, foundations. Now we're going to write the code. So you may already learn uh, what is a private variable, what is a public variable. So as a good practice, okay, for, for this, uh, we call it data encapsulation. For the variable that you define within the same uh, object class, you should be using a private and then you know this is a variable, this is a string, which is an empty string. And uh, this is uh, the Swift code and you need to write the app state. Okay, this is uh, uh, a syntax that we need to follow. And inside this, you're going to see your view. In this case, you see the test object is here. And then you also have a test field. Inside you see. Exactly. Okay. So you are going to have a test field and then you are going to hold it. And this is your variable because the variable is called the dollar sign input text. That means this is going to hold your, uh, your text. And then you will be able to add, let's say this is a divider and you should be able to see in the middle, just above your speak, there's a nine. This is uh, what you are going to divide your, uh, your regions. And later on, there's a button. And I think already in uh, the dictation one, you learn this is uh, your button. And then you are going to continue to work on your speech recognitions with your speed. And the remaining one is uh, just uh, as follow. But I think what is uh, more exciting is uh, there's a step overflow reference, which is uh, called the AV speech uh, synthesizer. Okay, you may want to know, okay, if I run this code, what we are oh, going to, what will happen, right? So in this case, we just uh, type the code. So let's say race it, you're going to say CT hack to 2022. Let's see if uh, the code will work and it will be actually speaking uh, on its uh, behalf, 2022. And let's say you press the button speak. City hack 2022. Sounds good, huh? I think uh, most of you can actually see uh, the way we do it, we are kind of uh, demonstrating how easy it is. Uh, we, we believe that you are going to create something very exciting over the weekend. But this is uh, somewhere you are getting started, okay? We believe uh, uh, it may be a good idea to really understand how this uh, Swift code actually works, right? So if you are able to follow us and uh, yes, yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I think if you guys like it and you can follow uh, what we are trying to deliver to all of you, you can type a five. And uh, again, the credit go to uh, Lao Sir. That, that is uh, his uh, great effort, okay? Anyway, I guess uh, this is uh, something really cool, but that doesn't mean that we are going to stop here. We're going to do something more exciting. So the last thing you can see, uh, we're going to go for a lot of a step overflow. We're going to say, uh, go to this uh, hacking Swift code uh, and also the Swift guy, a lot of details. So in order to go through this uh, code, we try to read the code together. I guess uh, at some point uh, we are university students. So 
knowing how to uh, read the code, sometimes is actually more important than um, writing the code. By the way, I actually uh, re recently, I'm not teaching uh, uh, like a, mostly this is uh, like a Swift or a, a Python or a Java uh, in the department, but I used to teach uh, over 200 students Java. So I, 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 I would like to share with you, I, I'm a big fan of uh, coding, okay? So in this case, uh, you can see the code that we are going to go through is uh, even more complicated. So number one, you will be seeing, uh, we can choose the language. So we can choose a uh, Chinese, we can choose a uh, Hong Kong style, we can choose a uh, Great Britain, so we can speak in English. And you can speak in different language and you also have uh, the text that you're going to get. In this case, uh, we also add the image. So you may want to say, how do I add the image? So it is actually pretty easy. So you go to the top left corner, you find now there's a, this button. And then you can add your Swift code. Maybe you work as a team. You want to collaborate with friends. So in this case, I add a photo. So again, I want to add, uh, let's say I want to add a, a car. Okay, I'll add a car. So in this case. So you find out this is uh, the car image that you want to add. And once you get this image, you just uh, rename it. So I put this uh, as a car. So let's say just a car, okay? So once you get your assets, and these are all the components that you can put and make your uh, um, mobile app more fun. Obviously not just photo, you can add uh, uh, like audio, video, uh, whatsoever. And uh, you can add a lot of technical detail into your applications and integrate together. But again, you need the front end. So uh, uh, the Apple, this is actually pretty fun. So now I want you guys to go through the last part. We are going to run this uh, program together. Um, I guess uh, since uh, some of the code uh, is not, uh, ah, I know why. We are still seeing dictation too. Why is that very Because we haven't, in the app, we haven't changed it to dictation. Ah, you see, she, she remember. So now we are going to modify, okay? And we, we use a dictation free. And then we're going to run the code, okay? So we update and show the app. So now we are seeing uh, this one should go to this uh, dictation free. Again, writing the code is a lot, a lot of fun, okay? But my iPad is a little bit old, so uh, a little bit slower. So let's wait. Thank you, Lao Yeah. Yes, yeah, she, she likes coding a lot, yeah. All right, so what we are seeing now is uh, the final version. So we've got the photo at the top, and uh, we can type a uh, lot more details and uh, we can also type Chinese. Uh, you can speak in Chinese. Uh, we can say ni hao, okay. Uh, let's say we, we try to say ni hao, okay. So let's see if uh, it works, okay. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, that's it. So let's say. Uh, it's not working, I don't know why. Maybe I, I need to choose a different language. Cantonese, let's see. Nei ho. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Huh? So that means a student, if you are like a long Chinese speaking student, you want to learn Cantonese, now you can use your iPad and then you can practice your Cantonese. This is a pretty nice. So if I want to try some other language or you want to try, let's say over the weekend, you want to develop uh, some applications, uh, uh, for some linguistic uh, uh, like a component, you can actually create, okay? So again, how powerful and how international the uh, Apple community is. And I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. Okay, I think you can think about it, okay? So I guess you can change the speed, you can change the pitch, but I guess uh, I want to say this. Okay, Racy, why don't we say thank you all uh, students uh, and guesses for coming for today. coming. Tonight, the for the workshop. Work. Okay, anyway, so let's say if this, uh, this is going English. to English. English, okay, so let's say this is uh, going to work. Thank you all students and guests for coming tonight for the workshop. Yes, I guess that's it. Okay, I hope that you all enjoy and uh, fall in love with uh, Swift. I myself uh, find it really, really cool. And I guess uh, that's it. I'll do a quick summary. Tonight we go through number one, uh, the Swift Playground is uh, really for newbies, okay? 
Secondly, hello world will show you how you can develop an app. Third, this uh, mobile app is again very powerful. I, get, I believe lots of put a lot of time and effort to create this app. And I want you guys to know the more you share, the more we get. Okay, so with that, um, yeah, thank you, Lo, sir. So I'm going to uh, stop here and I would like to uh, ask uh, maybe Danny and uh, Austin. I know we do have a slide uh, actually uh, introducing the RS Cup. I will try to find out the slide and I want to share uh, with you guys. Austin, you have yeah. the slide. Uh, you thank you. Yeah, I have the PDF. Um, okay, sure. Thank you. I think you have to enable, oh, you have the slide as well. Okay, sure. Uh, Elias, would you share or? Uh, Why don't you go ahead? I think uh, I think Elias is also here. You, you guys can share. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I can start a bit. So uh, hello everyone, um, I'm Austin. Uh, very great to meet you all in this uh, first workshop. Uh, in, um, I'm, I'm sure that everyone have really good time um, learning about Swift and me as well. Um, for me, it's really a steep learning curve. So uh, I'm Austin, I'm the uh, vice president for uh, CityU iOS Club. And uh, with me, I have Livius as well. So um, we are a, a bunch of like great passion, uh, passionates in Apple and iOS ecosystem as a whole. And we realize that currently we see many universities or a lot of societies already having their club. So um, we want to like have our own ideas and um, want to um, contribute to um, this communities as well, because we think that um, uh, within undergraduates or within CDU students, we have a lot of like great ideas to share as well. So in light of this, um, we have um, uh, with Dr. Ray and a huge uh, support from Apple and Bonita. Uh, thank you so much for supporting us. So we are uh, happy to announce that uh, we are the first iOS club in Hong Kong. And these four are actually our vision. So we want to foster innovation. We want to nurture the next generation of developers like every one of you guys. We believe that every one of us can code, whether it's through Swift Playground or uh, through uh, many platforms. We believe every one of us uh, is uh, enabled with coding skills. We want to promote uh, WDC to more students in Hong Kong. And we also want to introduce the world of iOS development to more people. So this is a general vision. So uh, this is our team. So. Uh, I'm actually uh, the final year student uh, in CityU and uh, with me, uh, we have Danny, we have Elias and we have a surgeon as well. So um, our team now is greatly like recruiting new members. So if you are uh, passionate in uh, technologies or in mobile or in anything, basically, whether you are uh, like uh, enthusiastic in iOS or Android, we welcome you to join the iOS club. So um, joining the iOS club would give you a lot of like uh, special events. For example, in the future, we foresee ourselves to organize more workshops like this and perhaps some uh, interactive uh, sessions with um, different parties and uh, different, uh, maybe Apple as well. So um, uh, we are already planning ahead. So um, please uh, stay tuned with us. And later, um, if you guys are interested, I would also like have a social media page, uh, Instagram and Facebook, where I'll um, maybe you guys can reach out to Ray. I will send the link to Ray as well. So um, feel free to follow us and uh, join us as a member. So uh, in the coming up, I can also um, uh, tell a bit. So we are planning a um, collaboration and actually a sharing with uh, Apple. So uh, the details I'll leave to later, but um, uh, I would like be more than happy to meet you guys face-to-face uh, -face or like in more workshops like this as well. So um, we need your help and we need your participation to our club. So very happy to meet you all. And yes, I'll pass on to Ray. Thank you, Austin, Danny, Elias, and uh, uh, Sergeant. Yeah, this is uh, really amazing. Uh, since we still have five more minutes, I'm very proud to announce that we also have an important guest uh, with us tonight. Uh, let me introduce, um, um, let me see, we have an important guest. So let me introduce a uh, colleague from uh, GT, Phoebe. Phoebe, are you here? Are you able to speak? Hi, Dr. Ray. Um, Barry, our senior technical manager, is here with me as well. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dr. Ray. Oh, our CEO of GT Group is also <laughs> Hello, here. hello. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, our team are supporting 
the first iOS club event and thanks for your invitation as well. Uh, we have prepared a deck for company intro, so can I share it right now? I think yes. Yes, please, please do. We are and delighted. Can, can everyone see the screen? So I will use the play mode. Very, okay. very good. We can see it. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, once again, thank you, Dr. Ray, for your invitation for us to introduce ourselves. So um, I'm not sure whether uh, every one of you here have heard about us, uh, Green Tomato. Uh, actually, we are now our eight, uh, 19 years mm. old, I think. Yeah, we established in 2003 and it's a Hong Kong based innovation consultancy focused on mobile solutions and uh, innovations uh, technologies. So uh, we are also award winning, uh, have um, several, have a series of award winning mobile apps. And uh, if you heard about Green Tomato, you will think we are a company about um, uh, agriculture or yeah. some Green, so <laughs> uh, green procurement uh, company, but mm. actually uh, I would like to introduce more about our name. So why we call ourselves green is about we want to keep ourselves fresh and ever growing. And about tomato is multi-formed and seasoning every day life we wish to. So um, so if you are at GT, we are always doing the extra 1% to uh, make great things happen. So uh, later on, you will know more about us through our introductions. So um, because of the time, we will skip about <coughs> this and we'd love to share with you about our GT Group ecosystem. I have just mentioned about Green Tomato. We are leading innovation consultancy and also provide professional services. We are part of GT Group. As in GT Group, we have GT Studio. We incubate and invest in over 15 startups. And here are the uh, portfolio startup of our um, accelerator and incubator. So maybe some of the apps you have uh, you have already used. I always say uh, thank you to our our students and also our 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 guests as well because you may probably one of our users and also clients. So may if you are movie lovers, you will uh, you will have your Hong Kong movie app in your mobile. And also if you love to um, to eat and also have different kind of cuisine, you may have already downloaded the store at the digital membership platform to store your membership card in it. Apart from that, uh, we also have different entertainment app just like Weila and also Women in Work, which is a um, uh, feminism uh, media platform and also e-commerce platform as well. So uh, let me continue to talk about our team. So everyone at Green Tomato are our great access. So we would love to see you uh, at GT after your graduations. So we have four. Uh, we our headquarters are in Hong is in Hong Kong. Apart from that, we also have offices in Guangzhou, Tokyo, and Taipei. And we currently are having over uh, six hundred over six hundred professional talents in GT Group. And for these four teams is in Green Tomato. We have consulting team, design team. As you are members of iOS Club. Probably you may be interested in our technical team and also quality assurance team. And these are the roles we are now having and more to go on because we are Green Tomato mm. is ever growing. So at Green Tomato, I have just mentioned that we always do things from doing things extra 1% from good to great. And actually grades are five values we are uh, cherishing and also committing in our daily life that are growth and also we take responsibility to make commitments on our passionate work and projects. We want to be committed and also do things excellent. With ambition, we always have can do spirit agility and also we work as a team, not also 
not just only internally, but also treat our partners, our clients as a team as well. By doing that, we always do commit extra 1% um, in our daily life. So here are some portfolios of us. Um, we have two domain areas at Green Tomato. One is about uh, retail and real estate. So maybe you have your some apps already in your phone, just like Lee Garden, Lane's Park and Dine, and also Broadway. As Broadway have a very, very significant features is about the member privilege and also you can do the warranty also in the mobile apps it's very convenient i have just buy a um a dyson uh hardware last week and i already do the um warranty on the apps already yeah, so it's, with as well. <laughs> yep, it's so convenient that you can get in touch with their uh, uh customer success colleagues so the second uh, domain areas of us is banking and finance. Uh, as you can see some crosses in that slide, because uh, considering the non-disclosure agreements, we uh, I'm sorry that we can't disclose much about that, but what I want to show you is our, our portfolio user interface. So uh, thank you again. You may probably be one of the one of our uh, customer and also yeah. clients because we cover uh, most of the banks banking and finance projects at Hong Kong and also globally. So uh, since I know you are from engineering or computer science background, we would, uh, Barry and I would love to share about the developer journey you may think about or already pursuing in uh, at uh, your school time and also uh, after your graduations so we uh we have uh we will propose to uh developer journey for you uh to consider it's one of that is about projects and the other is products so while um these two different career path which requires different personality traits and also attitudes as well so uh in the following slides you may consider it as a checklist or reference that uh, what attitudes or what you want to pursue for your developer journey. First of all, I would love to talk about projects. If you are one uh, goal oriented and also would love to exposure, have various exposure of the industry projects and also try for excellence. So projects developer journey is one of the way you can consider because you have uh, you will have the opportunity to taste of different industry projects and also get the learning from the first project, uh, the takeaway to the other projects to get to try for excellence and your, your career success. And for the product developer journey, um, since you will uh, get in touch of the from the ideation to the development, maintenance and also operations, you have a high sense of ownership and also sense of achievement during the product developer journey. So if you would love to, uh, to pursue your career path in more uh, personal development focus of uh, building your sense of ownership and achievement, you probably product developer journey is one of the one of the way you can consider. Uh, all in all about developer personality traits uh, at Green Tomato, we focus on five areas we would love to see our talents are, uh, are equipped in work. First of all is growth mindset, because uh, as all of you will know about in technology world is is in a rapid change. So you must to equip yourself with a growth mindset to get updated information and also language. Uh, the second is resilience, as you will uh, you will face many challenges. How to how to see the challenges into opportunities of learning and growth is what we want to uh, see for our talent growth because we want to grow together with you. Uh, the third one is about proactiveness. How proactive for us to learn from the challenges and also learn from new opportunities is we what we need is our proactiveness to get one step forward. 
uh, the, the fourth one is about communication and collaboration. As we just talked about teamwork, so we have to get communicate internally and externally. Last but not least in the middle is user-centric. We embrace impactful experience at GT. So how do we see our user needs can create impactful experience. So these are some of the personality traits you can consider about in developing your uh, uh, developer journey. So here is the uh, one of the career letter uh, for developer at GT for your reference from developer to system analyst. Uh, on the top right hand corner, you can see a question mark. Uh, I will open the answer for you to, 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 to explore because it really depends on what you want to achieve uh, at the end. And also it's a lifelong learning journey. Uh, Last, I would love to share one of my favorite motto is the meaning of life is to find your gift and the purpose of life is to give it away. So um, I'm very looking forward to um, seeing you very soon at Green Tomato office. We have different um, events open for public and also especially um, welcome students to join. So you may follow our social media to learn more about our latest developments. So uh, that's the end of our sharing. Thank you for having us. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Phoebe, uh, Barry, and also the uh, CEO of uh, uh, GT, uh, Sunny. Yeah. Uh, Barry and Sunny are, are both uh, City alumni. Warm welcome. So for students, if you learn something useful from our session tonight, please show your appreciation in the chat room. So we want you guys, uh, we want to see your happy smile, your thank you message or anything from you in the chat room so that we want you to show us that you also receive uh, the message from us, okay? So with that, I would like to uh, give a concluding remark. Number one, on behalf of uh, Apple, uh, I learned that uh, they are going to fully support our CTU iOS club uh, in terms of the upcoming uh, activities. And uh, we also have a colleague from Apple to support. We really appreciate that. Secondly, we want to, since uh, this is going to be the last uh, training session for uh, before the CTI, we want you, we wish you guys the uh, best of luck in the competition. Uh, no matter uh, you, you get any prize or you earn any experience, this is already uh, more than any other student on campus. So please uh, carry the message that Phoebe shared with us, uh, the resilience, uh, your personality, uh, your, uh, um, your passion to, to acquire the new knowledge. That is the key for success in your lifetime. So with that, I would like to pass the time back to uh, Yvonne, who is uh, the moderator for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Curry, and thank you so much for GT and iOS, iOS Club for sharing. So yeah, so that's all for today's workshop. And please remember to sign up for City Hack because today is the last registration day for City, City Hack 2022. Yes, indeed. And also Austin just uh, sent out the uh, sign up for the CTU iOS Club. Please uh, do sign up the CTU iOS Club sign up .com. Very easy and follow the IG page CTU iOS Club. Thank you guys. We look forward to seeing you all. And again, thank you Lao Sir for preparing the material for us. We also see Andrew. Welcome Andrew. A lot of our friends are joining us tonight. That's it. We'll see you guys on campus. Uh, we also see some students going to take my 9 a.m. lecture tomorrow morning. See you guys there. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.